Hey YouTube. Tank Girl here and I am uh, back on my Betty Blue, my Suzuki. Um, she hasn't been ridden for about a week. She's been sitting out in rain and winds of about 100 kilometers. Speaking of today, it's fucking windy and it's fucking cold, but I needed to get out and do a motor vlog. Oh, I don't know if I'm quite yet regretting it. But I've just got a few things on my mind and I always figure motor vlogging is kind of my way to get that out now. It's come to my attention lately um, that I seem to be getting seem to be gaining a few enemies and if not enemies then people who definitely definitely dislike who I am and I think originally that was really starting to get to me I was thinking what am I doing wrong why don't people like me I must be a bitch all that kind of jizzy jazzy stuff that really kind of attacks your insecurities makes you wonder what's wrong but then I actually what I what actually started causing this to me I was telling myself I'm sick of putting out with people's shit like I'm sort of sick of people actually treating me like a doormat I'm not playing the victim but I definitely put myself in the position where I was like hey walk all over me and that was my own fault for putting myself in that position of vulnerability and allowing myself be walked all over. I allow people to have opinions and about about me to my face and about you know things that are important to me and I, I let them have their opinions which yes everyone's everyone's grand everyone has fuck everyone has allowed their own opinion now if that's that's a right of being born here on this earth you're allowed an opinion but I realized that in listening to their opinions I was sacrificing my own I thought I had to back down They'd be like, yeah, okay, that's their opinion, cool. Agree, because you don't want to lose them as a friend. And then I started to realize that this was really actually starting to get to me. It was really bringing me down. Um, it was starting to make me question everything in my life, that, like, feeling that all my shit, you know, wasn't good enough. And then it hit me one day while talking to some really awesome people who are my ex flatmates who I miss dearly. And they basically told me up front, you know, you're red. You don't have to submit to people just so they would think you're red. They're like, and this, I feel like this is for anyone. You be who you are and people will like you who you are for who you are. And then if people don't like you for who you are because you're being someone else, then what's the fucking point in having them as a friend? I'm honestly not sure if I'm making sense. I started giving people my opinion on things like, you know, if they started saying things I didn't like, I would be like, no, fuck you then. That's, that's not cool. Uh, other things as well, I just started cutting people out of my life. I did try, gave people benefit of the doubt. And you know, it's people that you go up to and talk to, they'll ask you how you've been. You'll be like, yeah, good. And before you even get into explaining, you know, they're telling you about everything that's happening in your, their life. They're either comparing it to yours, saying, whoa, it's fucking windy saying that their shit's either, you know, oh, life's so great right now, like, you have no idea, it's so good, which is cool, I'm stoked for people having a good time, but you didn't even stop to listen to what's going on with my life. And that's a respect thing, you know, it's an equality, it's given and it's gained. Um, I honestly don't know if I'm making sense. So through that, I started losing people out of my life. Because I was actually finally being tech girl. I was being me. And I wasn't putting up with their shit. And I think lately it's been an ongoing growth from growth. Yeah, it's a growth. Ongoing. Yeah, I suppose it is. Growth for me because I'm constantly now being aware of when I'm submitting to people. And I've started to realize that that caused a quick domino effect of people who didn't like my opinion. And obviously that means they don't like me. And I'm actually learning to be okay with that. Like, fuck them. If they don't like me, then why the fuck should I have them around? Chances are if they don't like me, I probably won't like them. This is, this is a bit of a confessions vlog, I suppose. 
<laughs> confessions vlog. Um, yeah, but I am actually really proud of myself for actually standing up for being me. I honestly don't know if this vlog is making any sense. Hopefully you get some sort of message out of it. As Tina Fey said, bitches get shit done. And it's true. Walking around making sure everyone else is happy. That doesn't get shit done, gets shit done for them. That doesn't get shit done for you. And I don't mean to be out there and be like insanely selfish. I have some friends who I love dearly and I would do anything for them and I know for a fact they in return will do anything for me. I know it. I don't even need to question it. And those are the people I want to surround myself with. Because it's healthy. They're healthy. The people who suck your soul like emotional vampires, they are not healthy. Don't surround yourself with those people, people. People, kids. Don't, you know what I mean. It's about me finding who I am because moving away from home, I definitely lost myself a little bit. Coming into the city, you just kind of do it. But the problem with Wellington is it's, it's a city, but there's no... A nominomity, a nominomity, nominomity, you know what I'm saying? You're not anonymous. So small, everyone knows everyone. And I think that got to me a bit, because, you know, I'd walk around being like, oh, fuck, people are looking at me right now, what are they thinking? actually was driving me to the point where I just didn't want to go outside. I hated going outside. And I'll go out on my motorbike with a full face helmet, no one can see me. I, I was. But then when I had to park my motorbike and walk somewhere, it was a full on. I was scared. It was ridiculous. That's not me. That's never been what I've. That's never been me. I've always been a bit of a cocky little shit. For fun, you know. Really, really thankful if you guys watched this one all the way through. I'm sorry, it's not. It's it's not to the um, the usual standard of my uh, my motor vlogs. Oh god, the ground's wet. Uh, yeah, it's not quite funny or anything or anything witty. I just really need to get it off my chest. I do have a serious side, I just don't really like to use it that much. Yeah, thank you for watching. I uh, appreciate any comments or anything if you know you've been through the same thing yourself, how you dealt with it. Uh, yeah, I just, I know I'm not alone in fuck, it's windy! Alone. Whoa, oh my god, I went the wrong way to go home. Holy fuck. This wind is gonna blow me like a bitch. Stay red, guys. Thank you. Out. Whoa, no!